Now you have three days to participate in early voting. Early voting, it ends on Friday. Meanwhile, Secretary Raffensperger, he'll give that update at the state capitol at 10 a.m. We'll be, be sure to bring you those latest developments as well as stream the entire press conference on 11 Alive Plus. Reporting live from Fulton County, I'm Ariana Manise for 11 Alive. Back to you. Ariana, thank you. Let's take a closer look at one of the Georgia counties where voter impact is expected to be huge. NBC News has named Gwinnett County a decider in the election. So far, 230,000 people in Gwinnett have voted. Gwinnett election officials say they've updated their technology and they have experienced workers, so it's a smooth process. It's pretty fast. It goes very fast. When you get in there, it's very fast. And you just cast your ballot and that's it. That makes a huge difference in uh, the lines. We can, we can process a lot more voters uh, today than we, we did even just two years ago. That just relieves the, the pressures of Election Day, and, and that's been a really big relief. It's a much smoother process uh, on Election Day now that we can get such a significant number of voters um, already through and processed and done. On Tuesday, election workers must post absentee and early voting results by 8 p.m., so we'll start to get an idea how Gwinnett and the state could swing. For up to the minute of results on Tuesday, you can download 11 Alive Plus. We'll be streaming live starting at 7 p.m. The app is free for your streaming device.